Chapter 12, Part 2. So Tito's abuela found the gun. Now what are they going to do? Tito was crying again. Where's the gun now? In the refrigerator. In the refrigerator? Why'd she put it in there? I don't know. She held it like it was a snake or something. You know, like she don't want to touch it. Why don't you tell her you want to throw it away, Jamal said. I don't want to say anything to her. How come? She was crying, Tito said. I don't like to see her cry, Jamal. When she cries, she looks so different. It makes my insides start to cry and everything. Then I feel so bad. Tito, we have got to get that gun, Jamal said. If she takes it to the police or something, then maybe we got to... I don't know. What do you want to do? Get the gun. You can't hurt... I won't let you hurt Abuela. I'm not going to hurt Abuela. How do you figure I'm going to hurt her? Jamal said angrily. How do you figure that? They got to Tito's house and went quietly up the stairs. Tito was crying again. Jamal, I don't have a key. Jamal shrugged. Maybe I'll tell her that I got a friend who's a cop and I can give it to him. And then he'll do something with it and everything will be okay. How are you going to tell her that? Tito asked. She's going to know you're not telling the truth. What else are we going to do? That gun is too much trouble. They got to Tito's landing and Tito sat on the floor just outside his door. Jamal didn't say anything. He just waited, waited for Tito to be all right. Tito didn't move for a long time. Jamal went to the door and pushed it gently. Tito, he whispered hoarsely. Tito looked at him and saw that the door was open. Tito went to the door and opened it quietly. He went in and looked around. Jamal was right behind him. Abuela was nowhere in sight. Maybe she went out, Jamal whispered. Tito went to her room and saw that the door was closed. He put his ear against the door. Then he made a sign to Jamal. Abuela was in the room praying. Jamal went to the refrigerator. He opened the gun. He opened the door. There was the gun next to a covered plate. He picked it up. It was cold and now seemed even heavier than before. He put it in his pocket. He went to the door. In a moment, he was in the hallway and headed for the stairs. He stopped and turned back to where Tito's eyes still stared at him from behind the slightly ajar door. Jamal went back and opened the door. He took Tito's, Tito's hand in his and held it for a while. Go, Jamal, Tito pleaded, before she comes out. You're my best friend in the whole world, Tito, Jamal said. He left. He wanted to say more, but he couldn't think of anything to say. Long before he got to St. Nicholas Avenue, Jamal told himself that the only thing to do was to throw the gun away. But already part of him knew that he wasn't going to do it. So your question for today is why won't Jamal throw the gun away? Why won't he throw the gun away? Why do you think? All right, and I'll see you all tomorrow.